Hello Virgos, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley. I'm going to do a quick love reading for y'all for this upcoming week. We're going to look at how your person's feeling towards you, how you're feeling towards your person, and the mutual energy between you both. This will not resonate with all Virgos out there, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If it's not your story, it's simply not your story. It's very important not to force it. Um, leave it for who it was meant to reach. Let's see what's going on, Virgos. I hope everyone is staying safe and staying healthy and um, not feeling it too, too much with Mercury retrograde plus the full moon that just passed. Let's see what's going on, Virgos. I'm going to do another reading for y'all pretty soon for the month of February. So this is going to be for this week. I'm also going to do the signs you're dealing with. Let's see. Okay, Virgos. Oof. Oof. <laughs> okay. I'm going to read this as your person. I'm going to read this as you. I'm going to read this as the mutual. Roles can always be reversed. So if this is you and this is your person, go ahead and flip it as need be, okay? Uh, let's start off. You could be dealing with a Pisces, could be dealing with another Virgo, Gemini. We have a whole lot of earth energy. So y'all know the signs you're dealing with? Sorry, I just got lost. Okay. Lost. Someone's, yeah, look at <laughs> underneath the deck. We have the chariot, a cancer energy. So could be somebody's feeling a little bit lost right now. Let's see what's going on. For your person, Virgo, we have the moon. We have six of pentacles in reverse. We have four of wands and we have three of cups. So your person, yeah, it's your person that's feeling lost. It's your person feeling lost, Virgo. They're in the moon energy here, okay? It's kind of like they're just lost in their mind. I'm getting that they're talking about you to people, okay? It's kind of like they're trying to make it right with you here with the Six of Pentacles. They want to make things balanced. They want to talk to you. They want some of your time, okay? It's like they're, they're begging for your time, for your attention, for anything. And they're, they're so lost on how to go about getting it because you're not giving it to them here because they have the Four of Wands in reverse. You're not giving them any sort of time of day. Could have blocked them. You could have, you could be ignoring them, but this is also not reconciling, okay? This talks about reconciliation, good time, celebrating, possibly even a marriage. So when it's in reverse, okay, this is somebody who does not want to reconcile, does not want to hang out with this person. If y'all are married, y'all are separated or you're distancing yourself from this connection or relationship here. Um, ooh, I just got that people are like watching. People are watching and kind of like laughing at this person. Not laughing, but they're kind of like enjoying that this person is having a difficult time getting back to you. Hmm. Um, I do feel though that they are really, really lost right now because they're trying to figure out a way to get to you. Okay. It's kind of like they're just emotional, confused, just lost in their mind. Um, I'm getting very, very strongly. You don't want to reconcile. These two cards both mean no reconciliation. Okay. When they're in the reverse position, three of cups, a third party may have came to light or Ooh, I just got that this person is like crying themselves to sleep. Or like when you're laying down asleep, like tears fall down the side of their face. Um, or maybe that was you, Virgo. Maybe that was you at one time, but now you're, you're over that. You're over that, okay? I don't think you want to come together. You don't want to be friends with this person. You're not trying to hang out with this person. Nothing like that, okay? And that's why this person's so confused because no matter what they're doing, no matter what approach they take, it, it's not working. It's kind of like they want to beg you just for a little bit of time and you're not giving it. It's kind of like here, like I'll, I'll, I'm holding my energy close to me. I'm not giving anything to you anymore. That's how they feel you are towards them. And they want to, they're like begging you for it. You know what I mean? Like they want to beg you to, for your time. 
in your energy, Virgo. Oh, you know what? I'm getting, I'm getting that song. Okay, let's see. So for your energy, Virgo, you have Six of Cups in your verse, the Lovers, Knight of Pentacles, and Ten of Pentacles in your verse. You definitely don't want this person back. Okay, the Seven of Cups in your verse. This is, you know, this can't be your soulmate. This is the soulmate card. Okay, but when it's in reverse, this is this is also the soul. This is the soulmate, the ex, reconciliation, nostalgia, missing you. You know that whole shebang. But when it's in reverse. You don't want anything to do with this person. I'm getting like you're realizing there was more bad memories than good. Like the bad outweighed the good, you know? Because next to that we have the lovers here. So I don't think you want to reconcile with this person, whether it be an ex or, you know, a just a friend. But you're looking at things like, okay, when we were together, was it the lovers? Okay, the lovers is supposed to be a dreamy card. And you're kind of like, I don't want to reconcile with this person. Because when I think back on it, were we even really ever good with each other? The lovers. Or were you always in some sort of conflict with other people around? Was there always drama when y'all were together? You know, Was there always some sort of temptation or, or trust issues here? And that's what you're thinking about. And I think you want to move forward, Virgo. I think you want to move forward. And it's possibly... Is this a new person? Yeah, it's possible that you're already talking to someone new or you have your eye on someone new or you're just waiting for someone new, okay? You want to move forward because you want something stable, committed, and you want someone trustworthy because you don't want to live miserably. You don't want to live with a broken family. You don't want to live, you know, with all those, um, you know, family secrets or, or, or taking someone's, you know, like this person, you know, just doesn't fit into the, the family image, that you have in mind and you don't want to force it because if you force this person to be something that they don't want you can't force someone to want what they don't want you can't force someone to love you you know what I mean you can't I think you're realizing you can't force this person to be someone that they're just not okay because look at what's going to happen they're going to be miserable. They just don't fit in your image. They don't fit in your picture. You know what I mean? The picture you have for your family life and longevity, like, you know, your long-term relationship, they just don't fit and they're miserable. No matter how much you, you wanted this person, I think you're seeing things for what it is and you want something new. You want someone new. It could be that you're possibly already with or talking to someone new, okay? But I do see there is someone new in your energy, it doesn't have to be someone new. It's just a new love interest, okay? In the mutual energy. I think y'all both know, Virgo, that it's just gone, okay? The Queen of Cups. I feel like this is you. They know you are done. There's nothing left in this cup for them. Um... I feel like it's eating them up inside. I don't know why I'm getting like, I feel like it's eating them up inside to know that you're completely done, okay? And this person is going into hermit mode or it's eating them up inside that you've gone into hermit mode because you no longer have feelings for this person, okay? They know that you're done. They know you've closed off to them and they just kind of have to deal with it. That's why it's eating them up inside. Let's see. Let's get some clarification for you, Virgo. We're going to use some love message. Oh, actually, no. Let's do clarify. Okay, clarify. Clarify Virgo's person. Clarify Virgo's person. Oh. Uh, there's way too many, but I'll take them. Ooh. You know what, Virgo? This isn't the Six of Cups. This is the Seven of Cups. I'm so sorry. It kind of, the way that I interpret it though, it's kind of the same thing. So you just, you're not confused about this person. You, you've you made up your mind about this person, okay? This is not the soulmate or the X card. This is the more confusion, okay? But I feel like you've made up your mind. 
you're not confused on how you feel because you're you're not you're not trying to be confused about this person because like I said you're realizing there was more bad times than good or this person just didn't treat you right clarifying your person though Virgo we have the five of Pentacles in reverse okay they want to make amends with you they want to make amends so you can bring them back in okay they want to make things right the temperance they want to try and make things right with you and offer you some sort of love or relationship Whatever they have to do, they want to give it to you, okay? Now they want to give it to you because they're trying to get back into your good graces here. They're probably going to reach out and try and have a conversation again if they haven't done so already, okay? Um, because they're realizing just how happy you did make them or how happy they y'all, how they think that y'all were happy at one point, okay? You could be done with a Leo. You could be done with a Sagittarius. Um underneath that though the king of wands i feel like let's see where it goes this person wants to come back this could This person just doesn't want you to be intimate with anybody else, Virgo, okay? Underneath the deck, we have the King of Wands, okay? They think you're dealing with somebody already and possibly being intimate with someone, and that's why you don't want anything with your past person, okay? And it's breaking their heart. It's eating them up inside thinking that you're being intimate with someone else and not with them, and that's the reason they think why you don't want anything to do with them. That's why it's tearing them apart. It's like... A weird jealousy I don't want no one to have you possessive energy and I feel like they're they're gonna come back they're gonna try and like tie you down talk to you give you everything let me see is that Sun card yeah they're gonna reach out for go if they haven't done so already they're gonna reach out for sure um, with the strength card okay in reverse they're not going to be holding anything back like i said they're going to try everything they can and they're coming quick they're coming quick um, to come towards you to speak with you the eight of wands is all about communication so they're either they're going to text you dm you call you message you this is online communication but either way they're coming quick they're not going to hold back they want to talk to you okay i do feel that very strongly and we are in mercury retrograde love so um that is when your past people come back. Virgo. Clarifying you, Virgo. You have the Ten of Cups. You're happy right now. Whatever you're doing, you're happy right now. You're, it's like you did like a glow up. You know what I mean? Like, look at this person still stuck in the old times. But you're fully dressed. You're moving forward. You're not even looking at this person. You're, you're happy in your home. You're happy working on whatever you're working on, on yourself. You're not even phased. You're happy, Virgo. I don't think that you want this person. You want this person to let you go already. The page of pentacles in reverse, you're kind of like, gosh, you know, why won't this person just let me be already? Like, I, I've, you've probably already told this person you don't want nothing to do with them. Um, you're, you're happy because you're finally moving into calmer waters and you feel more at peace you feel more at home like you're happy moving forward you know what I mean like you're ready and you're not trying to yeah look the Hierophant in reverse with the seven of swords in reverse you're not trying to get trapped into a commitment that is not going to fulfill you in any sort of way you're moving towards something better you're hoping that there's something better out there for you. Yeah, look, underneath that, Page of Cups in reverse. You're looking for a new cup. You're looking for someone to give you a new cup here. Underneath that, the Magician and the High Priestess and the Ace of Pentacles, okay? You are manifesting and praying and you're bringing in someone new with a bigger, better opportunity in love for you, okay? This is someone very secure, you want to get the ball, or you know what, this is, you, y'all could be getting 
a big sum of money coming pretty soon, either a promotion or a raise or a whole lot of money, okay? Because there's a ton of pentacles in this reading. And Virgos, I know, you know, Virgos, y'all are all about the pentacles. So some of y'all could be falling into some money, some good luck or a new career opportunity, but there's a lot of forward movement here, okay? A lot of forward movement in regards to pentacles. And I only do love readings, so I'm, I'm, you know, but I'm sensing a whole lot of pentacles here, okay? Because you are showing as the high priestess. This is all under the deck. High priestess are intuitive, okay? They know their worth and they're very valuable. With the magician, okay, everything that you're manifesting, it's coming. Also a new person or new love interest, it's coming, okay? Let's clarify that mutual energy. Yeah, uh, yep, yep. <laughs> Knight of Cups, okay, this person is coming back, but there's also someone new in your energy, okay? Somebody new is coming. When you start, you know, what is it? When you start healing, you start attracting better. Is that, I don't, I don't know the saying. I don't know, I don't remember how that saying goes, but how does it go? You start attracting better. I don't know. I don't remember, but y'all know what I'm trying to say. Like, because you're, you're healing, you're, you're like glowing and you're attracting a new cup here. Okay. A better cup. We have the five of wands in reverse. Okay. I feel like you're just done with the drama. You're done with the pettiness. You're ready for something new that you just, it's like you're moving into the next chapter of your life, Virgo. And you can feel it. Look at underneath the deck, two of cups. As much as this past person tries to hold you back and cling you to them, you're ready to jump into another relationship. You're ready for real love coming, okay? Maybe not jump into another relationship, but you're ready for love. You're realizing that you are more valuable and worth more than this, and you're ready. No matter how much this person tries to keep you attached or pinned to them or just keep you in their energy, pretty soon you're going to be breaking free because there is a new person coming, okay? And the Two of Cups is the relationship card that's underneath the deck. Let's get some love messages and some soul confessions. If this message is resonating, let me know in the comments below. Um... If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to the channel. I would greatly appreciate it. If you want to purchase these decks, we have the love messages and the soul confessions. They are in my Etsy shop as well as where to book a private reading with me. Um, I am going to be doing a giveaway because we did hit 10,000 subscribers. Thank you all so much. I love you all so much. And I greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it. I also greatly appreciate all the gifts that y'all send me and um, donations to the channel. So a whole bunch of love messages popped out. So we have, I don't know how to express how I feel about you. I want you so bad. So it could be that this person is, yeah, this person, this past person has never given you any sort of like kind words is what I'm getting. Like, I don't know. Like, they're kind of like, like they're around, but they don't ever say like, I love you. They don't ever say like, you look nice. You look cute. You look cute today. Something like that. Like, they don't ever, they don't know how to be lovey. You know what I mean? Even if they want you and want to be with you, they don't know how to tell you that. That's why they're just hoping you'll just give them the time of day and make things right. Because secretly they want to beg you for time and attention. But, you know, their appearance wise, they're kind of like, eh, you beg me. You're supposed to come crawling back to me, that type of energy. And because you didn't do that, they're freaking out. We have jealousy clarifying the mutual and work 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 so yeah i think there is someone coming in to put in work virgo like there is someone new in your energy and this person is going to be enraged with jealousy okay when this person does come if you do decide to move on with a new person 
clarifying them, we have social media lurking, so they are keeping an eye on you. If you are talking to someone, they are watching for that, okay? Um, separation, no communication, it's because they have no way to get to you, and we have too much baggage. Underneath the deck, we have heartbroken, okay? So this person is definitely feeling it. Let's get some soul. Oh, this soul confession. Yeah, oh, this soul confession just came out. So your anger and aggression are too much for me. Your words cut too deep. Give me. Yep, look, I'm terrified of getting hurt. So I cut myself off. This person doesn't know how to, um, how to express anything emotionally. They're very emotionally immature here. Give me one more. Oh, they gave us two. Okay, um, I feel like you're losing love slash attraction for me. I knock you off your pedestal on purpose. So yeah, like I said, this person th feels like you're finally moving on. And now they're really trying to, they may even try and like verbally attack you to make you feel less than what you are. That way, you know, you think maybe that this person is your only option, but it's not true. It, it, they knock you off your pedestal on purpose because they feel like you don't want them anymore and they're realizing that you know you deserve much more than what they can give you. Oh, underneath that, underneath the deck, I'll come back for you. I just need some time away. They think you're coming back, Virgo. They think this is you. They think you need your space, but you're going to take them back whenever you're over whatever happened, okay? And underneath that, we have I've cried over this. Underneath that, a happy house I'm sorry happy spouse happy house I want it all with you so yeah they're crying because they're realizing that you may not come back this time but that's what I have for you Virgo I hope this helps I hope it resonates um like subscribe share the video I love y'all so much I'm sending you lots of love light peace clarity and I will talk to you soon